Bismillah, salatu wa salam wa Okay, let's continue. Uh, the last session, uh, if I remember well, uh, we did uh, the, uh, the data path. We talked about the data path. Okay, let's get the, uh, the image. Okay, I will get the image of the data path. Uh, of course, I have some questions. I have uh, to see if uh, you have it, if you uh, understand well what, how the, uh, the data path is uh, constructed. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay, this is the data path. This is the data path. Okay, I have to give you some questions, of course. Uh, first element, the first element is uh, this uh, part, is uh, this part. Can you explain me what is this part? Can you explain to me what is this part? Yes. Okay. Uh, this part is a program counter. Okay, very good. Uh, what is used uh, for? He, okay. he can uh, store uh, the value. Okay. But uh, sometime uh, he can increment uh, the counter. Okay, very good. Uh, 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 I, I will try to uh, to, to uh, correct sometimes. Uh, actually, this is uh, it's increment each time. Address. Yes, it's actually it's contain the address and increment it each time. If I increment a check for illa illa free jump, uh, it's increment any time except uh, the, the jump instructions. Okay. BCC. BCC. Yes, BCC. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many bits uh, it have? Uh, 60 bits. Okay, 16 bits. You have 16 bits. 16 that, bits. Okay, that, that imply. Uh, eight. Four. Uh, data. Uh, no. If we have. Two. two. Okay. Two uh, of power uh, 16. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay. My capacity. Okay, very good. We have uh, two uh, of power of 16. Uh, uh, of the capacity of the RAM. We have uh, uh, 30, 35, uh, approximately uh, 35,000 uh, cells. We have uh, yes. this number. Okay. Okay, that's good. Then we have uh, the PC that contains the address. The address is sent to the ROM, the ROM. What does the ROM? Or PC. Uh, okay. The PC is uh, directly connected uh, of a ROM. Yes. And what is the job of the ROM? Two parts, uh, parts of uh, restriction okay. and uh, parts of data. That's, that's good, that's good. We can say, we can precise here, the RAM contains uh, the instructions, uh, 16 bit word, 16 bit word. 16 is uh, contain the move, check move, uh, says bit. And the, the, the sense bits are divided in two parts. We have uh, the parts of instruction and the parts of data. Very good. And we will continue. We will. Uh, can you explain this uh, path, for instance? Uh, the code uh, of uh, each selection go to the CU. That's good. That's good. Uh, first, we, we can say that the code part goes to the ER, the instruction yeah. register. Yes, it's it's an register, uh, a register of uh, eight bits that contains the code of the instruction. Then it goes to the CU. Very good. And the second path. D 
D is a special register. Yes, here the second pass goes to D, and D Store, uh, stores uh, what? Data. The data. Good, very good. Okay. The uh, the CU. Can you explain briefly what uh, the CU does? CU uh, is a signal control. Yes, it's used to throw out to throw out the signals to the other components of the data path. When you charge the signal, the other components. Okay. Yes. Okay. And can you explain what bus D do in this data path? What is the job of bus D? This is a three-step buffer. Very good. I think. Uh, Very good. Yes. Yes, it's used to control the access to the bus, to the blue bus, to the data bus, to the blue bus. It's uh, control this the access. This component uh, can uh, block uh, the access data. Very good. Very good. This is this. This is, this, this is it. Okay, and we have, uh, of course, this part is uh, the red part is uh, RAM. Is the RAM the RAM? How much do we have RAM? What is the capacity of the RAM in our architecture? In the mega sixty four uh, kilo. Very good. 64 kilo kilobytes. Bytes. Very good. Uh, here we are talking uh, about bytes. The block T. 8 bits. Have 8 bits. Yes. Here. Yes. It, it, it's different from the uh, the ROM. Just to, uh, just to uh, make the distinction between the, the ROM and the RAM. The ROM is 16 bit and the RAM is 8 bit. Uh, uh, we have to uh, precise here that. Uh, there are differences between Gigatron and the Megatron in this point. Gigatron is 32K. 32K. A Megatron is 64. Megatron is 64. Is the double. Is the double. 64K. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you explain what is the M MAU? MAU, MO. Uh, memory uh, addressing unit. Yes, very good. What is the job of this uh, part of the circuit? Use the to control the sensitivity of the address. Uh, not exactly control. You can you can choose another word. It's not controlling. Create. What? Creating, create, yes. Create, uh, the yes. Component. Very good. It's sensitizing. It's creating. It's creating the address of what? Of uh, the RAM. Okay. Uh, uh, very good. The address to put to the RAM. Uh, that means this is the main unit that allow us in the in the programming mode to choose what we call the address mode. We will have some instruction with different addressing mode. This unit is responsible responsible for the addressing mode. We will see that later in this uh, in this session, inshallah. Okay, we can say that this uh, ML MAU gets three different sources. The, the address can be sensitized from three different, uh, the different sources, X, Y, and D. D, the data, Y uh, is a, a register uh, used for the address, and X also is a register used for addressing for the address. Okay, let's continue. Uh, can you explain the blue bus? What is the job of the blue bus, data bus? What is his job? What is used for? 
What can you say about this bus? Uh, blue bus. The blue bus, yes. Uh, this bus uh, can get the value uh, from B. Okay. Good. And uh, B first. And the from uh, RAM. From the RAM, second, yes. Uh, uh, from the RAM, uh, ra right. From the right. Uh, uh, what do you mean, right? Uh, RAM, uh, right to read. For, 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 yeah, uh, yes, 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 you can continue. And uh, from, uh, and from, we can get uh, the information from the input and the, Very we good. can get from the accumulator. Accumulator, yes. We have uh, actually four sources. Four, four sources. Yes. Okay, for, for, for the destination. Uh, where the information from uh, this bus can go. Destination. Program uh, counter. Program, Program counter, counter and uh, yes, very good. And uh, and the uh, I. Value. Value. Uh, yes. Value. Uh, the B port. The B input. The B input of the yes. value, yes, very good. And uh, the last one is, uh, the last destination is, uh, we have three destinations for this bus. A result? N no. A RAM. The, yeah, very good. The last one is to the RAM. The last one is to, to the RAM. Very good. Uh, we can talk about uh, the ALU briefly. The ALU is uh, the ALU uh, has two inputs. Two inputs. B and A. Very good. B and A. Okay, and his job is to do a uh, calculation. Uh, Very good, calculation, arithmetic, and logic, and the uh, arithmetic operation and the logic. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's continue. What is the AC? The AC register. Register. The uh, accumulator, special special uh, register. Yes, this is the accumulator. The accumulator uh, should contain. What, what is okay? Can you uh, explain what what is the accumulator? What is used for? Value. Hmm. And the result. And the return. Yes. Yes. The accumulator is always uh, the A uh, input and uh, the result. Uh, of the uh, you contain the results. This uh, um, it always uh, follow this champ, this camp. Always works like this way. Okay. Uh, can you talk about this bus, the result bus, the orange bus, the orange or brown bus? It's not very really visible. The orange. Let's say the orange bus. I don't know, but uh, I think uh, the result. Yes, but, it, uh, it, it is the result bus. It contains the result. The main result 
Okay, okay, let's continue. Okay, you can continue. Yes. No. The results of Orange bus. Okay, okay. A result of uh, LU. LU. And, uh, okay. And go to uh, Y. Uh, okay. Register. Yes. Go to Y to Y. Okay. And, and to Y. X. To X. Okay. And to. Yes. Accumulator. Accumulator. And to also to. Uh, Output. Output. It has uh, for destination. For destination. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Normally, uh, we saw the overall architecture. Now uh, I will start. I will continue. I will start by explaining how the uh, uh, memory unit works. Memory addressing unit works. This uh, unit is responsible for the addressing. Uh, later. When we start programming with uh, uh, the machine code, with the assembly, and we start to program with the assembly, we can see that we have different addressing mode. For instance, we can see this instruction load, and we have uh, the, 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 this kind of instruction. We have D between brackets and uh, IC. This part represents the left part of the instruction, of the assembly instruction, represent the addressing mode. We can see it here in the uh, uh, in the uh, in the PDF. I don't know if the, do you have the PDF of uh, Gigatron. Okay, I will uh, give it to you. No. Okay, I will uh, I'll put it on uh, uh, on uh, Discord. Okay, this one you can follow on this PDF if you want, or on the, uh, the stream. Okay, you have this PDF. I got it from the, uh, the official website of Gigatron. Yes. Okay, and you can see here it's explaining uh, the, the addressing modes. Here in page uh, 52, you can see uh, 52. You can see the different addressing mode. We have, uh, for instance, zero D, zero X, Y D, Y X, zero D, zero D, zero D, and Y X plus plus. We have uh, in total eight different uh, uh, addressing mode uh, the, the, the uh, what is the addressing mode what uh, you, you, we have to understand exactly what is the addressing mode the addressing mode is the way to construct the address to access data this is very simple this is simple we have different way to construct the address to access data uh, actually we can see them here we have in the same uh, PDF, I have to find the uh, page. You can go to the page uh, 658 if you want. In page 58, we have four different modes. Four different modes. We have four different modes that uh, cover, that cover these modes cover all the addressing mode, all the eight addressing mode. We have the first one, we have the mode 0D. When we read 0D, what we understand that we have the address of the memory of the RAM on 16 bit, we have 8 bit contains the D, uh, contains the D. Uh, part and the zero and the right part, uh, the right uh, pa part is zero. Okay, let's take uh, an example just to. I will write an example just to understand what's happening here. 
Okay, I uh, okay, I will try to in the this first mode. The first mode is 0D. 0D, you have to remember we have uh, what do we have here? 0D, we have an address for the RAM of 16 bits. The total is 16 bits. The total. We have 8 bits here and 8 bits here. If, if the um, uh, MAU, MAU choose the first addressing, addressing mode, choose this one, 0D. The, uh, um, uh, the MIU will fill this part with eight zeros and the right path with eight bits of the data with the instruction. That means that uh, the instruction now, the part data contains an address to jump to this address. This part contain the address to jump to, to uh, sorry, to access, access uh, where to access data, where to access data. This is the first mode. The second mode, do you have questions till now? Did you understand that? Sure. Uh, well? So, uh, first mode, create yeah. by uh, D. Okay, yes, it's, it's mainly created by D on 8 bit. Yes, the, the other bits are put to zero. Yes, this okay. is D. The, the, this represents D. Yes, this, this, is, this okay. is it. The second, the second mode. The second mode is this one, 0x. 0x. Do you remember what is x? Okay, the second mode is this one. We have uh, the value of x, the register x, here for the address, and we have zeros here. Uh, do you get it? Yes, yes. Yes, you have uh, x here. And, and you have to understand one thing, uh, that in, uh, when we uh, subdivide the RAM, the RAM is like this. The RAM is like this, and uh, the RAM is uh, subdivided. You have to understand that. Uh, it's it, it's uh, particularly difficult. It's not difficult, but you have to, uh, to concentrate here. The RAM is subdivided, is subdivided uh, with many, what we call segments or page. In this architecture, they call them pages, pages. Each page contain many words, many words. Uh, actually, each, each page contain uh, two power eight words, but. And, and I can understand that from the dividing of the address. Uh, we we, uh, we uh, studied this in the uh, computer architecture, if you remember that. This is what we call uh, in French segmentation. Segmentation. If uh, the, the, segment, the, 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 the idea of the segmentations is uh, to uh, to divide the address into two halves. If we divide this address into two halves, we, we uh, are doing what we call the segmentation. We are, uh, really, we are dividing our RAM in many segments or many pages. This part is called pages, page. Each page contain uh, two 56, uh, but can you understand that or or no? 
Or should I uh, repeat? Yes. I, I will repeat. This is a well-known technique in uh, computer architecture. C'est une technique très utilisée pour les uh, architectures des ordinateurs. Elle est toujours utilisée, toujours. Well, the, 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 this technique is called the segmentation, and it's always used in any architecture. In any architecture, the technique is to divide the address into two parts. The, the, the generalization is in many parts, but we will try to uh, focus in our case. In our case, we divide the address into two parts. We have the right part and we have the left part. This part is the address inside one segment, one page. And this part represents the address of the segment or the page. I will call the page. Uh, Furthermore, I will call the page. These are the pages. We have many pages in our, uh, our uh, RAM. Uh, what is the pages? The page is uh, the page is generated when we divide our when we divided our uh, our address. This represents the number of the page or the address of the page. And this part of the address will represent the address inside one page. Inside one page. Uh, one page. Anyway, to understand this, I can give you a reference. I have to, uh, to continue, we don't have much time, but I already uh, explained it in uh, my uh, website. Okay, I can give you the link the video and you can uh, can view it by yourself okay i explain this process uh, carefully in uh, okay in this video i will give you the video Between uh, zero D and the zero X modes. Ah, they are different uh, in the. They are used when programming. Just program it higher. They are using uh, while programming. They are using while programming. Okay, you have this. You have to check that uh, by yourself. I explained very well how the uh, what what is the, the the main idea of segmentation. The uh, there are different modes. When uh, I will give you an example, I will give you an example when we program in assembly. In assembly, sometimes, sometimes you need to access. Uh, I don't know if uh, do you do you remember the MIPS architecture? Remember the MIPS architecture? A little bit. It's not too much. Okay. In in the for instance in the MIPS architecture we have. Uh, uh, different mod uh, to access the data. The, uh, the the processor gives you different mod. We can you can access the data directly. We are we, we call that the the direct mod. When we have the direct mod is like D, like the D mod, the the first mod. The D mod, if you want to access data, you can uh, directly put the address of the data that you want to access in D, in D. This is the first mode. I can give you an example of the second mode when uh, you need, for instance, the instruction that brews an array, an instruction that parcours the tableau. And now, uh, this particular situation, you need a different mode. You need a different mode. The, the, the different mode is called uh, the base mode. The base mode. The base mode, uh, it's not in our case, uh, it's, uh, it's in MIPS. In the base mode, you have the address of the first element and you have the index of the cell. And the processor, what we'll do, we'll uh, add the two, the address of the first uh, element, and then he shifts. Uh, 
if I decal shift to the index of the cell inside the array, inside the table, inside the cellular table, inside the array. Uh, each processor has a different mode. I can give you an example. For instance, I worked with a process called the 6502. 02, sorry. 02. In this processor, we have, if I remember well, we have 16 different modes, addressing mode. We have uh, many, many uh, different modes. These modes are used to, to facilitate, to make the programming easier. Each mode is used in uh, such a particular uh, situation. Uh, and the, in this uh, particular, uh, in our particular use, uh, we have uh, this mode of X and the mode of uh, D. They are modes called in the, the programming called the zero mode. Uh, zero page, zero, sorry, sorry. Zero page, zero page. We call that zero page. What means zero page? They can actually only be stored in this page. This is the zero page. This is the zero page. This is the first page. How, okay, how can you know that this is the zero page? Because you have in the right part only zeros. If I put, for instance, here one, if I put here one, I will change it. This is the first page. The first page is this one. Okay, I will delete. The first page is this one. This is the first page. If I put one here, if I put one here. Can you understand? And if I put, if I put for, for instance, two here, two. This is two in binary, two in binary. This is this page. This is the two page and so on and so forth and so forth. This is the idea. This is the idea. This is uh, if uh, you divide an address into two parts, you have this part represent the number of the page, the number of the page. And this part represents the address inside the page, inside the page. If we take, for instance, uh, to understand, to, to well understand this uh, process, you have to view the, the video uh, that it gives you this video to understand exactly what I'm talking, what, what means the segmentation or pages. This is the, the idea. Anyway, I have to, uh, <coughs> I have to, uh, to go on to continue. Uh, anyway, this mode is called zero page. Why is called zero page? Because D mode, the, the D mode and the, the D mode and the X mode are zero pages. They are only uh, saving on a zero page. And this uh, way of programming is particular. Some uh, CPUs, not all, use this notion of zero page. Zero page is the main part of the RAM when we put your variables. Those parts are used for uh, programs, for, uh, for different informations, for images, for instance, sound, etc. But for the main variables, when you we program, for, for instance, a game or a program in this machine, the main variables are used in zero page. Why? Because you have some uh, some tools, some uh, some help in the architecture that help you using those two modes, the D mode and the X mode, that the, that they are special for the Z page. Can you get a general idea? Sir, sure, uh, yes, so yes, always sure. uh, start with uh, zero page? Not always. It depends on the mode. Depend uh, I uh, talked about two modes. The, the other's mode, the fourth and the third mode are different. Uh, we have, uh, after this, YD and uh, we have uh, YX. They are different. You can, be, uh, of course, you can use the other uh, parts of the round. You can use this part 
but this part is used with those two modes with those two modes yd and yx but for the 0d and 0x they use zero, uh, zero page they are written here ah they use zero page direct and we have the 0x zero page and direct via, via x and direct via x uh, that means that the uh, the address is not on d it's not on the instruction it's on the register x this is the 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 sorry this is what we call the indirect and we have the two others mod two other mods two other mods are used to access all the memory you have just to remember that the zero page is important and the main variables of your code should be stored in this page the capacity the capacity of this page is is to power 8 is uh, 256 but do you have questions you have to uh, to understand that this is uh, mainly used in programming the, each architecture it's not uh, specific to Megatron each architecture gives you each processors each processor gives you uh, different modes different modes on how to access the data you uh, the simplest mode is the direct of course direct mode means that you put directly the address but uh, uh, in some situation in programming it is uh, beneficial it, it is uh, it's more suitable to use other different uh, modes for instance the indirect or the base mode is used for the, the arrays the tableau uh, we have a different mode we have a, the um, uh, different special modes uh, uh, you have to remember that in our uh, architecture we have only four we have only four way to access data we have only those uh, two four and you have the the, the main understanding it's not about the micro architecture the micro architecture you will see it's very easy to implement that but the main uh, understanding is about the architecture uh, is how to program after that uh, how to use those different mode in your program in assembly program of course you have to understand that because you need to uh, program the uh, the monitor we will program later the monitor and you have to understand how to program Anyway, you have four different modes. Uh, I can continue. We have D mode is the same. Is the same. It's uh, it's uh, it's the same idea. We put uh, we uh, we have to put we have to put uh, uh, the D this part. This is the third mode. Huh? We have to put the Y and D. We have Y here, Y here, and and we have the D here, the D here. In this in this uh, addressing mode, we can choose the page. This is the address of the page. This means you can choose the address uh, of the page. This mode is used to change the page, to change the page, to access uh, different pages. Uh, this is this is directly related to this. If, uh, for instance, I choose the how much? This is zero, one, two, three. For instance, I want to access the third page. I will put the value of 3. If, if I want to program this, I will put the value of 3 here, in this mode, 3 here, and of course, 3 here, 
And of course, uh, I can access now this page. Inside this page, I can give any address I want. For instance, I want the first cell inside this page. The first cell, its address is 0, 0, it's 8, 0. Like this. Like this. This address, this address is uh, the address of the third page and the first cell. The first cell inside uh, the third page. If I, if I do this, for instance, if D, I put in D the value 1, for instance, I put 1 here. If I put 1 here, this is the second cell inside the third page, and so on, and so on. If I put, for instance, just to well understand, if I put the value 5, for instance, here in D, in D, I put the value 5, for instance, this time I can access the six zero one two three four five six the six uh, zero one sorry zero one two three four five the sixth cell the sixth cell can be accessed with this address with this address uh, did you get it do you have questions it's very important to understand that this is the third uh, address in one do you have questions Sir, uh, yes. how many cell? In, uh, we have uh, two fifty-six cells inside one page, and uh, it is very easy to understand that. It's very easy to uh, to uh, to get it to get it. We have eight bits to represent an address inside the block inside this page. We have eight bit. Then we have 256 different cells, different cells. And the same question, I can give you the same questions. How many, how many pages do we have? Can you deduce it? Remember. Yes, it's the same. We have 260, uh, 56 pages, different uh, Pages. This is the idea. This is uh, the idea. Okay, the same for the uh, other. Uh, I guess it's it's uh, it's the same trick. We have uh, y x. Uh, we have the, to put y on the high address on the right part of the address, and the x is on the low part. Uh, this this uh, address is called the page y and direct s. Uh, x and direct x and direct x anyway we have to to uh, compose to concatenate the y let's go the y and the x and we get the address of the value anyway we have four address in mode and uh, the address is constructed this way we have two parts they are constructed using the m MIU, the memory addressing unit. This is the job of the memory addressing unit to uh, to form this. To form this, we have the two first mode are used uh, solely on uh, the zero page. The address concerns only uh, this part. This part. The address is uh, uh, only about this part, but. Uh, the two in the two others we can access any cell in the RAM we want. zero page. Okay. Do you have questions? Do you have questions? No, no, continue. Okay, we'll continue. Then, uh, in the micro architecture level, uh, I, I, I open the uh, Gigatron. Inside the Gigatron, I can go to the memory addressing unit. The, uh, the way to implement that is very easy. We will use uh, what we call two multiplexers. Uh, do you remember multiplexers, of course? Yes. Yes, we have two multiplexers to implement uh, this. Uh, uh, this way to uh, synthesize 
the address we have the first multiplexer is responsible for the right part of the address and the second multiplexer is used to form the high part or the left part of the left part it's very easy we have two controlling signals to control the addressing mode if we so if we see the uh, the mode we have the first mode this is zero zero if i put uh, zero zero in the controlling signals zero zero here uh, zero zero we have to see them outside okay let's let's see them these two controlling signals are EL and E high and EL. Uh, they are called EL and E, uh, sorry, EH and EL. L for low and H for high. The low part of the address and the high part of the address. Uh, the low part if you put if we put for instance zero zero here if you put zero zero here zero in the low and zero in the high we get the d and we get we get the d for the first entry this one and we get the zero this part and if we compose this we have this entrance is at zero and this entrance is at y this entrance is at d and this entrance is at x. If we choose 0, 0, this, this is what? You have to give it to me. This is, if we put 0, 0, we get which mode? D, 0. Yes, we get D, 0. If I put, for instance, 0, 1, 0 here and 1 here, we get... 1 uh, 0 1 yes 0 1 0 in high and 1 in low it's uh, 1 no okay we get uh, for the first zero mode 0 what zero mode i can't hear you uh, i can't well hear you we get what Zero mode. We don't have zero mode. We have the D mode, the X mode, the Y D mode, and Y X mode. Which one we get from those four? The zero D or the zero X? X. We have. We get the zero X. We get the zero X. If we put uh, zero one here. One, we will choose X for the first multiplexer, and the zero for the high, we get zero. We get this mode, we get zero X. We get zero X if we put zero one. Okay, let's continue. If we put one zero, one here and zero here, we get one here. Zero, zero. One here and zero here. We get you get a you why 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 see why why d why d we get white and if if we put one one we get we get y x y x okay this is good we get y x okay you have to uh, to uh, to remember that. We have uh, two uh, two uh, command signals. This, th th those signals are coming from the CU, of course. The, the, the CU, uh, the CU is the the unit that decides which mode you should ch choose, and uh, of course this uh, uh, those two bits or command are responsible for choosing from one of uh, those modes. I have to say it for the last time. The mode is this, is between the brackets. When we write instructions, those are the modes. 
This part, the, the right part of the assembly instruction, this is, this is about the assembly programming. The right part represents the destination. Here we choose the address of the RAM, and here we choose where the result is saved. This part is where the result is saved. For instance, this part saves the result in AC. AC, AC, AC. On X, if you remember X. On Y, on out, on out. Uh, do you get it? Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, we will yes. continue. Okay, we finished this part. This part is about the addressing mode. About this addressing mode. And it is very simple to implement. It's very simple to implement. You have just to use two multiplexers. Now we will dive inside the CU. And the CU is the most difficult part. It's the most difficult part of this architecture. You have to well understand that. Uh, to implement the CU, uh, the design used multiple uh, combinational circuits. They used decoders, multiplexers, that's all. I know, I know, you know how to, uh, you know how the multiplexer wo uh, works. Can you explain to me how the how decoder works? The multiplexer is easy. The multiplexer. Can you can you explain the multiplexer just to uh, to be sure? You uh, you really understand how a multiplexer works? Can you explain to me? For instance, we have this multiplexer. This multiplexer is a multiplexer one four uh, four one. Sorry, four one. How this multiplexer works? Can you explain how this multiplexer works? Multiplexer for uh, one select. Yeah, and the one, and the select one. Uh -huh. And the four uh, uh, inputs. We have four inputs. We have four inputs. Okay. Well, uh, input zero, one, two, three. Yes. Okay. The yes. How many selectors do we have? Two. You have two. Uh, very good. Two. Okay. And how the uh, multiplexer works? By uh, selecting. By selecting. Uh, I will give you an example. If, for instance, in the two select input, I give the value 10. 10. 10. 0. 10. How the multiplexer will behave? ما يخير من الانبوت هذا كيخير دوزيام فيري جود اي ويل تشوز ذا ذا انبوت نمبر 2 اند اي ويل باس ات تو ذا اوتبوت يعقبها الاوتبوت هكذا يخرجها في اوتبوت يس فيري جود فيري جود ذيس از ذا مالتيبلكسر اند هير وي ادد انذر انبوت يو كان سي ذيس وان this input in the this input in the uh, in the bottom of the multiplexer we have another input this input is used it's called enable it's used to enable or disable the multiplexer do you know what is enable in uh, no enable is activate activate or disactivate say allume or eteindre شعر ولا طفي تذكر معناتها uh, what does that mean? That means that if the enable is one, the multiplexer will work normally. Well, it works. No, will works. Will work normally. If we put this entry, the enable to zero, the multipl the multiplexer will not work. Will stop working. He uh, he will do nothing. He will put always the value zero here. He will not work. It's disactivated. It's like it's sh shut down. It is shut down. This is the input of enable. 
This is the input of an ape. Okay, now uh, can you explain what is a decoder? How a decoder works? Can you explain that? Decoder uh, for uh, implementing uh, memory. Yes, it is used to uh, implement memory. Very good. Uh, and uh, what is his behavior? How it works? Fame. If I give, for instance, the value, we have two inputs here and four outputs. If I give the value 10. And uh, input uh, and the two uh, of power n output yes very good very good if i give you the value 10 a value 2 value 10 in the input what uh, will i get uh, in the output i don't remember but, uh... okay this is very important the decoder is uh, uh, it's a well-known combination of circuits and it's often used, it's a very used uh, circuit. If we put, for instance, 10 here, 0, 1, the decoder will activate the output number 2, because I put 10, the number 2, and will shut down the other's output. He will activate only the output with the number of input with the, the value of the input for instance if i put 0 1 here the one output will be put to one activate means put to one put to one and the others are put to zero it's very simple it's very simple it's a very simple circuit you give a binary value here and the decoder will activate this input the, 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 this input and uh, put uh, the other put the others to zero i will give you an example for instance if i give you the value one one which output is activated output number three second very good it's number three one one is a three uh, the, th the third input will be activated, the third input is the last one, is the uh, output 4. Output 4 will be uh, put to 1, activated, and the others are put to 0. Which means that this one uh, will be 1 and the others will be uh, 0. Uh, of course, if you have to understand that, it's very easy. You can just take uh, a decoder from... Where are they? I guess they are here, multiplexer decoder. You, have decoder. you can play with it, you can try it to understand how it works. If I put, for instance, here, this is the decoder of uh, uh, two inputs and uh, uh, two bits, and we have uh, eight outputs. And we can try, and we can try and see how it would work. Uh, sorry, we have three, we have three. I have to put three here. If I put zero, is the first output. If I put one, is the second. This is the value two, this is three, this is four, and this is four, this is five, six, and so on, and so on. To understand the, uh, if you have, uh, if you can't understand how a component uh, really works. You can try it, uh, try it directly there in the simulator. Okay, we have a decoder. We have a decoder. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see uh, the CU. The CU. Okay, the CU is uh, explained in the. Gigatron PDF in this part. We have the instruction. We are talking about the instruction. In the instruction, we have to divide 
the instructions in many bits. We have the instruction on eight bits. We have the first two bits are used for the bus access. I will explain that. They are used for the bus access. And we have the three bits in the middle. They are used for two purposes. They are choosing the addressing mode or the branch condition or the branch condition. And we have the last three bits that are used for the choosing of the proper instruction of the instruction. You have to remember how many instructions do we have in our architecture? We add an instruction. How many instructions do we have? How many instructions do we have? Each uh, instruction has uh, eight uh, addressing map. How many instructions? Did they add an instruction? We do have. We do have eight instructions. We have eight instructions. We have the load instruction. We have the end, logical end instruction. We have the OR instruction. We have the XOR instruction. We have the ADD instruction. We have the SUB instruction. We have the STORE instruction. And we have the BCC instruction, the branch instruction. We have eight. We have eight. And if we take for instance, this is the 8 bit, the 8 bit of the instruction part. This 8 bit uh, goes, those 8 bits goes to the CU. We have the bit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 8 bit. The, the last three bits, bits 5, 6, 7, are, are the representation of the code of the instruction, of the instruction. For instance, if they are 0, 0, 0, they represent the instruction load. You can, hear, you can read it here. This is the code of the instruction. LD, LD means load. And we have AND 001, we have OR 010, we have XOR 011, we have ADD 100, etc, etc, etc. Those first three, uh, the, the, sorry, the last three bits are used to code, to write the code of the instruction. We have eight different instructions to choose from. To choose from, you have eight instructions. Uh, did you understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have uh, the first two bits. The first two bits are used for the access. of the B, the data bus, of the access of the data bus. What is the data bus? The data, the data bus is this. This is the data bus. And we're talking about this, the, the data bus is the blue bus. The, this bus can be accessed by four units. Four units can access this bus. We have one, two, three, four. But you have to understand that only one can access the bus. We can't get four or two, four or three or two 
uh, elements accessing the bus at the same time. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. We have to choose one. The, to choose one, we have a code. The code is written here in the uh, PDF. The code, uh, you can find it in the page 49 of the PDF. The code is the bus access. We have a 004 for D, for D00. Okay, this is 00, the D. And we have uh, the RAM is 01. The code of the RAM is 01. Where is it? The RAM is 01. We have uh, the accumulator is 10. The accumulator is 10. And we have the last one is uh, the input is 11. The input is 11. Is 11. Okay. This is 11. It's very simple. It's very simple. We have uh, the first two bits are used to determine, to know which elements, which component will access the bus. We have four, four elements that can access the bus. Did you understand that? Do we have questions? Yes, yes, no questions. Okay, let, okay let's continue. And we have the middle bits and this middle bit, we have two modes. The middle bit, we have two modes. We have two modes. Okay, we'll delete this. Here we have two modes. We have the addressing mode, if you remember that. It's not, it's not exactly the addressing mode, we will see. We have the instruction mode. We have two parts. We have the condition, the addressing mode. Addressing, I will write it addy, addressing mode. Addressing mode, and we have the condition. The condition. We have the two modes, it depends on the mode, it's, it's depend on the mode. We will see the addressing mode. The addressing mode, we have a three bit, we have eight different value, have eight different value, and there are written here. We have those eight modes. I can read it, for instance, we have the first mode, zero D, addressing mode, AC is, the destination. AC is the destination. If you choose to write 01 for instance, I will write it as 01, 01 here, 0, 0, 01. Uh, in the address mode, you choose the instruction. Uh, what is the instruction? Instruction 0x, I see. 0x. You, you know what, what is 0x, it, it is address and mode, and we have, uh, I see, the destination. The information will go to uh, the result, will go to the IC. Okay, and the uh, address inside the RAM is addressed with, with 0x. Th this is it. This is it. We have 8. We have uh, 3 bits. We have 8 different values, and they are written here in page 49. We have 00 for 0D zero AC, uh, 10X IC, 2 YD IC, uh, 3 YX IC, 4 0D X, uh, 5 0D Y, and uh, what is this? 6 0D out. And this is uh, 7 y x. I will explain that later. Uh, y uh, x plus plus uh, out. Anyway, we have two, uh, sorry, we have eight different modes and we can see them. 
on the table, on the ESA table. On the ESA table, we have eight instructions, and we have the bus access. Each instruction, we have four accessing bus. We have the four accessing bus of the, the first two bits, and we have here the three bits, the eight value of the three middle bits. And we have eight different accessing mode. The first one, D01, uh, is DIC, XIC, uh, YDIC, YXIC, etc., etc. Okay. Do you, do you have questions? It's very important here, and I know it's not easy, but you have to, uh, to, uh, to give me questions to understand if you have some misunderstanding. Do you have questions? No, no. Okay, let me continue. Okay. I uh, first I talked about uh, two modes, two different modes. I talked about uh, two different modes. The uh, the addressing mode, the addressing mode, and we have the condition mode. This condition mode is only activated when we use the branch instruction. You have to understand that uh, we have eight instructions. The BCC, the condition instruction, is the only one that uses uh, the condition mode. What means the condition mode? That means that the uh, the interpretation of the, those uh, three bits are different. They are not the address mode, we are, we are in the condition mode. And for the rest, the rest are the other instructions. We have LD, AND, OR, etc, 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 the seven instructions. Those seven instructions are using, they are using the addressing mode, the addressing mode. Okay, this mode is used by seven instructions the seven first instruction and this mode is used by the BCC instruction is used by the branch instruction uh, that means the mode is chosen depending of the instruction the instruction is uh, the way to choose which mode we are using the first seven instruction we use the addressing mode and the last one the BCC instruction we will use the condition mode do you understand this part? Do you have questions? Can I continue? No, we don't. Okay, I continue. For the condition mode, we will have we will need to see the condition mode. I repeat, the condition mode is only used with the BCC instruction. And you can find the codes in page okay, in page where is the page? Page 50, 54 of the PDF. In page 54, you will have eight different conditions. Those conditions, uh, I will uh, give you an, uh, a question. I will give you a question. Which kind of instruction we have to use conditions in assembly? Où est-ce les instructions Ils ont fait la condition pour la programmation ensemble. Attendez, nous avons les instructions. Comme le vecteur, les instructions ensemble. Which kind? Which kind of instruction? Instructions we need the condition. We need to use conditions. Which kind? It's very simple. It's very simple. Do you have an answer? Yes. Compar Compari. Comparison. Yes. Comparison and mostly in 
if you remember MIPS processor in the branch instruction, jump instruction of jump and branches when you have to verify the condition if the condition is true you can jump if the condition is false you will continue we will not jump you will continue we call that the branch instructions the branch instructions are like the jump instructions that means when you execute the sequence of instructions when you arrive to a branch instruction you have to verify the condition if the condition is true you have to jump to uh, to another instruction and if the condition is false you have you don't have to jump you have just to continue to the next instruction this is the branch uh, the jump is a conditional the jump if you arrive uh, if you are executing your program sequentially and you arrive uh, to a jump instruction you have to jump you don't have a condition this is the difference the, the, the difference between a jump and a branch a branch is a jump with a condition a jump is a jump without a condition okay do you have this do you get uh, this do you get this do you understand that Sheikh Mali that is okay in the assembly language, in the assembly, in the programming language, in the assembly language, uh, we have different kind of instructions, and there's different what is instruction, uh, different kind of, uh, of instructions, and we have some instructions called the branch instructions, and it's instruction de branchement. The instruction, the the the, the, the instructions, the branch instructions, are used to jump to another part of the program. The branch, for example, is used in the if, for example, it's sorting. So we can't use directly. We have the programming instruction on the cut out. But in the, as we say, in the branch, it's used to sort. It's used to, as we say, to sort the place of the address of the instruction. The branch are used to jump to another part of uh, of the program. I have to jump to another part. Uh, you have to understand the jump and the branch are similar. Each other, the jump and branch, they are similar. The main difference, the main difference is that the branch instruction jumps if the condition is true. If the condition is false, uh, the uh, branch instruction will not jump, will continue. Kima fil if. Fil if la condition siha. La condition gata, pardon. Sodi. Tchorjural if. Tchorjural if. La ked la condition siha, tchorjural. C'est le même principe, it's the main idea. It's like the if, the idea of the if. If the condition is true, the the the. the the proper semantic of the instruction if uh, branch uh, instruction branch instruction if the condition is true you will jump to another instruction if the condition is false you will not jump you will the pc will increment the pc will get pc plus one and you will get to the instruction just next the instruction when we are when you are uh, this is the branch the con the the jump is a branch but without a condition the jump when you execute a program instruction after an instruction when you uh, when you arrive to the jump you will jump you will pass you will uh, jump yes jump to another part of the program this is the idea of a jump. This is the BCC. This is, this is the, uh, the use of the BCC. This is uh, what we call the BCC. Do you have questions? No, I can't see. Okay. No. Okay. In this part, we have uh, three bits, of course. And each three bit has a different interpretation and the a different interpretation and 
This interpretation is a condition. Is a condition. We have here a three different con uh, sorry eight different condition. We have uh, zero 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 never never. It's not a condition. It's it's just uh, uh, we will not consider this. The first one is one if the condition AC is greater than zero. AC the accumulator is the accumulator is greater than zero. This is a condition, and this condition is uh, uh, is represented binary by zero zero one. If, for instance, you want to, if, uh, for instance, you are. Uh, using a BCC uh, instruction, you have BCC instruction, and in this part you write zero zero one. The condition in this instruction is if AC is greater than zero. Okay, we have to follow this table. Zero zero one. If AC is greater than zero, uh, two. If AC is uh, less than zero. Uh, 3 AC is different than 0 4 AC is equal to 0 5 AC is uh, greater or equal to 0 uh, 6 AC is less or equal to 0 uh, 1 1 1 always always is gem is a gem you have to gem whatever the condition whatever the condition this is what we call a gem those are what we call branches and this is what we call a gem I have to remember that. Yes, always uh, you don't have a condition. It, it, it's a jump. It's a, a jump. Okay, and those are represented by those bits. By those uh, bits. You can choose uh, whatever condition here. But you have to remember this mod is only used in the instruction BCC. If it uh, a different kind of instruction, if the, the for instance the LD instructions, these uh, those uh, three bits are interpreted as a mode, as addressing mode. They are interpreted as a addressing mode. Okay. Do you have questions? No. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, this uh, till now. Till now, till now, we talked only about the architectural part of Gigatron. Architectural means the way we program the architecture. We don't have to implement it, we don't have to implement it. How the architecture could be programmed. We understand, we studied, the uh, the eight bit of an instruction we studied and we understand the different bit of an instruction. Now we have to see how UC. This is the UC control unit has uh, needs to implement how he needs its need. Those, uh, those eight bits to implement the UC of the architecture. We have, where is it? We have the UC here, and he gets the instruction, the eight bits of the instruction here, and the UC depends on the instruction he needs to fire, to fire the different signal the different command signals okay uh, after we start uh, uh, before we start uh, we need to see uh, some signals some command signals uh, to under to understand what they do okay we will start to see our architecture and uh, get uh, what is it and get the name of all uh, the signals we have those first signals we have de oe ae and ie uh, those four are special and they are used to control the axis where is it 
What is it? They are used to control the access. Which one can access the blue bus, the data bus? We have four signals. We have the DE, the OE, we have the IE, and we have the AE. Those four signals are responsible for accessing the bus. You understand that? D enable D E means D, D, D means main data enable data enable enable data enable and the same for the others we have data enable output uh, what is this I don't remember this output enable I don't remember anyway input enable and we have uh, uh, accumulator enable accumulator enable and we have OE I don't remember exactly uh, O means what's the O output enable uh, I don't remember exactly but it's not important it's not important we have uh, those four signals those four signals uh, they are used to control the access to the bus. Where is it? To access, they are here. They are used to access, uh, to access to the data bus. And you have to remember, only one should be fired. Uh, only one should access the bus. We can't get to uh, two elements at the same time accessing the bus. This is uh, forbidden in the, uh, in the digital design. Do you understand that? Can I continue? Okay. Yes. Okay. We will see X, XL and YL and IX. XL, YL and IX are the command signals of the X and Y register. We have the Y register, we have the X register. Uh, each register has a clock. Clock two, I will explain the, the, the clock after. Clock one, clock two, I will, I will explain the difference uh, later. But we have uh, the Y, X, the, the Y, sorry, the Y register, the X register, and we have the Y, L signal, we have the X, L signal, and we have the I, X signal. The Y, L, is used to allow to write on this register the right what is the right the right it's allowing you to modify the register this is it the yl allow you to enter the value here to value to allow the uh, to to uh, it's allowing the value to enter inside this register. If it's one, I don't know if you understand what is a register. Can you give me a, a small definition of a register? What is a register? Uh, uh, combination circuits. No, uh, I have to uh, to be careful here. It's not a combination circuit. A register uh, yes. is a D flop, uh, D flop, flip flop. Give me a, a a small concise definition. What is used for? Well, why are you using registers here? What is the uh, main register purpose? is like memory. Yes, it's a small memory. This is the main idea. It is a small memory. The Y register, for instance, is a memory of 8 bits. It's a small memory of 8 bits. If you want to modify the value inside the Y, we suppose, let, let, let's take an example. Suppose Y contain the value, I don't know, uh, uh, the value 10, for instance. The value 10, value 9, for, for instance, value 9. If you want to change the value 9 with a new value in the bus, 
For instance, we have on the bus the value 3, for instance, coming from the alley. We have the value 3. And we want to override this value with the value 3. بغي نكرازيوها. The value تاع الناف ونبدا نحطو فيها 3. What we should do, we should put this signal to 1. The signal YL is called the right signal. The right. The right. It allows us to write the new value. The new value. If we do this, if we put 1 on uh, the signal YL, we will put the value 3 inside inside the register and we will override the old value. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, this is very good. This is very good and uh, you have to understand that these operations is done depending on the clock. The clock at some impulsions, I talk, uh, I talked about that in uh, with the clock uh, in the clock in the how we call that the rising edge of the clock on the rising edge on the clock this operation is done the value 3 is put inside this register anyway this is this is the right signal the right signal to put a value inside y and this is the right signal of x to put a new value inside x. The ix, this one, ix, is used to increment, to increment this value. This x is not actually a register, it's a counter. x is a counter, it's not a register. We can put a new value inside the counter and we can increment the value. Uh, x is like PC, we can increment it. To increment it, we have to put one where in ix. In ix, uh, you have to to study the sequential circuit by yourself. You have the course of the sequential circuits. You have to see it. You have a uh, lot of videos. I have a, a series series about the sequential circuit. You have to see it by yourself. Okay, we'll give you the uh, the link. <coughs> and you have to see. Okay, we'll give you this link. And you have to uh, to study it by yourself. We don't have much time to to for the answer. You have to. You have videos. You have the course. You have everything. Okay, you need to see that to understand what is a, uh, what is a counter and a, what is a clock, what, what what is the clock and the counter and etc. Uh, etc. Et anyway, okay, we got the three signals. Uh, can I continue? We saw. This and yes. this and this. Okay. Let's see this. E H and E L. We already saw them. Where? We saw those two signals. E L and E H. Where? They are responsible for. They are responsible for. what we call the memory address to choose the memory address we did the example 0001 etc etc el and eh are responsible for the memory address mode choosing the memory address mode okay let's continue uh, let's see ol uh, ld OL and LD. OL and LD. OL, LD is this. 
and OL, what is it? OL is this. They are very simple. Those two are also registers, and those two signals are the right signal. They are the right signal to write a new value inside those two registers. They are the right signal to write the new value. Do you understand that? L, D, and O, L. They are like Y, L, and uh, X, L, and X, L. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, they are the signals for writing a new value. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, we have a PL and PH. PL and PH are there. PL and PH are the signals to write inside the PC, inside the PC. Here the PC is composed of two parts. The PC is about 16 bits. We have the first part and we have the second part. This signal is responsible for writing on the first part and this signal is responsible for writing in the second part this is the low part and this is the high part this is the high part and those two signals are also right signals are right signals do you understand that Yes. Okay, let's continue. And we have uh, those signals 1, AR, 0, AI, 1, 2, 3, 4. Those five signals are pretty simple. Are pretty simple. They are used to choose. They are very simple. They are here. They are used to choose which operation should be done inside the RU. The RU is a combination secret and inside the RU, uh, sorry, the RU we have uh, the function signal to choose which operation we have to choose. For instance, I will give you, for instance, my course. Let's see the course. Combinational circuit. In the combinational circuit, for instance, here, let's go to uh, the part when we talk about uh, the RU here. We are talking about the RU. This is the course of the, uh, uh, the combinational circuit. We have this entry. What is this entry? What can we do with this entry? Function. Yes, function. You have to choose which function we have uh, for this example. We have uh, how much? We have eight function, and we can choose the function. We can choose the add, uh, the, the operation addition, subtraction, uh, and uh, logical and logical or etc. etc. Is this is this is the same here? We have uh, with uh, those four five uh, bits. We can choose which operation. We can do it with the RU. With the RU. Did you get it? Here we put the code. Yes. yes. Okay. We put the code of the operation we want to to use. The last signal is the WE. The WE is here. The WE is here, and it's pretty simple. It's uh, write uh, enable write uh, enable write enable 
enable right enable right enable anyway right enable right enable this is uh, if it's one the RAM we can write uh, an information inside the RAM this one uh, is uh, for the read if this one is uh, at one we can read the value from the RAM if the W E is one we can write the value inside the RAM it's very simple it's very simple this is the signal to write inside the RAM do you get uh, this signal yes okay let's continue now we will study uh, the inside we will not continue today uh, maybe we can add uh, we, we need to add another uh, another session we will see that later we will see that later anyway I will try to explain uh, briefly how the CU is implemented inside. We start with the first bit, with those bits. Those bits are very simple. They are used for, can you remember this? Can you uh, tell me what those two bits are used for? For access. Uh... Very good. They are used to access the bus, the data bus. The data bus, the implementation is very simple. The implementation, the, the, those are, those are the, the those are the two bits, and that they are uh, connected to a decoder. And the decoder, the output of the decoder represents D E, O E, A E, and I E. We know that they represent. The access to the bus. The access to the bus. Uh, can you tell me why the uh, the Gigatron uses a decoder here? And we have the two bits here. Can you make the, the relation? Can you make the connection between these two ideas? You have two bits. For instance, if I choose to put zero zero here, what does that mean? Zero zero. What means zero zero here? I can't hear you. Your microphone is not good. I'm. Uh... He can't hear you. شيخ زيرو زيرو ما عندنا لاكسي بان ندخلوا له لم باس باس هي بصح شكون زيرو 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 عنده كود عنده معنى ويتش وان زيرو زيرو ات ريبريزنت دي ات ريبريزنت دي فيري جود ات ريبريزنت ذا دي بس اف وي فولو هير اف وي بوت اف اي بوت زيرو زيرو ان ذا انتري اوف ذا ديكودر what should I get in the output uh, of the decoder? You can see it here. It's visible here. We, are, we have zero, 00 here, for instance. It is, uh, I get DE -E activated and the others are deactivated. It's very good. That means that I will get outside the uh, here. I will get outside the uh, Outside the, uh, the architecture, I will get this signal activated. DE is activated. If I follow the DE, the DE is here. Where is the DE? The DE is here. 
it's activated and it is represented by a three state buffer that means uh, this value is going through this value is going through the value is the is going to the bus it's going to the bus going to the bus. very good very good this is it this is why uh, this is why we choose to use a decoder here we choose to use a decoder here if we uh, if we uh, put for instance uh, zero one i can try it uh, let's try it let's try it it's very simple i can we can do it easily if i put here for instance okay this is the first entry we will i will put zero one what would happen zero one oh. Oh, okay, then very good. OE. OE, it's about the, uh, uh, the, the RAM. It's the RAM. RAM output. And if I put 10, for instance, this is the A. accumulator. Very good. And if I put 3, this is a, this is a, Input. The input. Very good. This is very simple idea. It's a very simple idea. Uh, and it was implemented inside the Jukatron using a decoder. It's very simple. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see uh, the instruction decoder. The instruction decoder is the instruction, is the, sorry, is the decoder, uh, this decoder. He ha uh, it has uh, three inputs, 0, 1, 3, and uh, of course we know that those bits represent the instruction, represent the instruction. The decoder is very simple. If you give it an instruction here, for instance, this, uh, this one is the instruction 0, you have 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, he will, it will activate uh, this first and output this is the dl instruction dl if i give it for instance the instruction one the end will be activated this one this is the end uh, wire and the r wire the xor wire the add wire the sub wire the 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 sc store wire and the bcc wire which means each wire each of the horizontal wire signal represents an instruction and only one instruction is activating at any time. At any time, you have only one instruction activated. Uh, which one? This is the entry of the decoder here. This is the number. This is the code of the instruction that we put here that activate uh, each wire for each instruction. Let's do some simple uh, examples, for instance. Let's do simple examples. Okay. Let's do this, for instance. Okay. What is this instruction? You see, what is this instruction, for instance? Can anyone tell me what is this instruction? Uh, directly from the diagram, from the uh, logiciel. ST. ST, very good. How did you know that? Because? Because ST is activated. It's very simple. Uh, ST is one, is uh, green, is lighter green. It's activated. The, uh, this ST is activated. This means this is the, the, the instruction with code 6. With code 6. And uh, this is the same for the other instructions. Did you get it? Yes. Yes, let's continue. I will talk now about this decoder. And this is the same idea. This is exactly the same idea. You can, by yourself, know from here, from here, you can know what the decoder is responsible for. You can tell me exactly, directly from directly from the those outputs you can tell uh, what this deco this decoder is responsible for 
uh, mode and the destination. Very good. This is the this is responsible for this. For what is it? For this. Yes. This is the mode and destination. Very good. This is the access mode. This is the access mode. We have eight. We have eight. And where are they? We have eight, and we have to choose them which bit? The central. Central bit. The central bit. Uh, anyway, I think we should stop here. We will try to fix a uh, rendezvous for a uh, section to continue this. It's, it's, it's pretty complicated. We need more time to, uh, uh, to continue the explanation. I have to stop here. Sheikh, do you have a We will talk uh, about that later. We, I will stop and we will talk, uh, we'll try to fix that. We try to fix that. Okay. Uh, anyway, do you have questions about the uh, about the uh, about what we did till now? No, it's uh, pretty clear. It's clear. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, we will stop here, and we will continue the next session, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, inshallah. <laughs>